no, no. Like, where it was like an action-adventure game where you played as, like, Buff Knuckles. Um, oh, Sonic, Sonic Boom. Boom. Sonic Boom, thank you. Or, like, the infinite jump Bandana. thing with Knuckles. What? Bandana? Bandana Knuckles. Yeah, he's, he, he's, he's wearing a bandana bandages? He's wearing a bandana around his neck. Oh, Sonic. Oh, yeah, 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 he sure was. I, wait, was that Tails? Why would no, we that was Sonic. that of all things? Yeah, I don't know. Why would you not? Why would you? Why would you go buff knuckles? That was the first or, thing or... I thought of. Sorry. <laughs> you thought of such a nondescript, and we went bandana. What? I looked yeah, at. You us all for a fucking it. loop there. I just went, hey, main character. Hey, he's he's actually wearing clothes. The main thing being a bandana. That's my, that was my thought hey, process. Y'all know what? When you look up bandana Sonic, he comes up. <laughs> yeah, fuckers. <laughs> All right, look up Buff Knuckles. Well, of course that's going to come up. <laughs> okay, <it's so> <laughs> that's the only Buff Knuckles in existence. I, I should have turned safe search on. I'll tell you that for sure. <laughs> <laughs> how, did you, how did you recognize all the time you were like, <laughs> Dragon Ball shipping, wait, hold on. Safe <laughs> search. But Buff Knuckles, you just went... Oh, this is gonna be wholesome content. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, try it, Gavin. No. Why would I try it when I would prefer <clears throat> to go there? So if just... I go to a high quality steakhouse, I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'm gonna try something that I may or may not like, or do I want to get something that I will like? Okay. And I will walk out with my belly full and sad. When did you feel the I'm never trying anything new again? Oh, like um. Three years ago. What the? Wow. Bro, I was just like I'm done. <clears throat> I will never have that feeling in my life. Yeah. Never. never. Like why? Where's oh, there enough? Like, like, yo, I tried a whole lot of things. I know what I did, and I know what but I don't did. I've tried. What's the point of trying stuff have when you... I can have stuff that Wait, I might on. actually hold like? On. I, hold I, on. I hold know on. what I like, and I'm saying how old are you? Thing that I like. Da, how I'm old are you? Wasting my time. But everything we tried, and all that stuff. But everything we've tried, we've tried maybe seven percent of the stuff that's out there. Absolutely, and guess what? I'm be eating for the rest of my life. Seven percent of stuff. If Doritos go out of business, guess what? That's the end of my tortilla dream. Oh my god. He's in his mid thirties, Ralph. And, and, like, I don't think that number matters. He's in his early to mid thirties, and that is nowhere near the point where you should think this. These I thoughts. I tried a lot. Of yeah, stuff. I can understand if you 50, 60, You like, <laughs> I've, I've lived life. I'm done. You have not I'm lived life in your thirties. Go hyperbolic like that. <laughs> you have not lived life at your thirties. I'm sorry. Like, have you been no. outside the country? Oh, before? Yeah, I just gotta start eating everything. Oh, give me that squid. Have give you been? Me that squid. Calamari's no, amazing, first Mari's of all. good shit. Have you been outside I'll the country? Never know. Good shit. Have you been outside I'll the country? I'll never know. Have you been outside the country before? No, I have not. Holy shit. You have not had legitimate foreign food of anything, and you're just done. And guess what? Unless we go to Japan, which we're planning, I never will. And guess what I'm doing when I go to Japan? Hey, look at that McDonald's right there. You what are do I insane. recognize? No way. You are. No. Dude, every time I, I go make stuff, what happened last meetup where you go, yeah, we're going to ramen. I went, I don't know. Because what What would I get when I won't go to the ramen? Just some plain ramen with a little bit of chicken and broccoli in it. And guess what? I can make that at home. Y'all you, you, getting eggs and pepper and, oh, yeah, it's what's this noodle? Egg. Okay, that's fine. I'll this never know. A spicy Because I know what I guys. like. And guess what? If I don't like it, I'm stuck there with a mother in meatball sub with eggs on it. Okay. Throwing that sh away. No, I ate it. Don't play with me. I'm not wasting food. <laughs> but is every time I go out. Sandwich with eggs on it. Hold on. I, I want to process that one. Meatball sandwich with eggs on it. Meatball Where did that sub with eggs. I was thinking what? of a breakfast pizza, but in sandwich form with meatballs. And it didn't work. That's it. Oh, yeah. yeah we talked about story. this before. And old story. <laughs> Every time I go out of uh, state for a tournament, I always go, what's the local place people go to? What's a food I haven't tried? Let me go there. Oh, I'm not going to go, dude. hey, there go to Wendy's. Let me go to the Wendy's. Food I you haven't went to, tried. You went to Texas and you didn't try anything remotely Texan? Like what? Barbecue. Texas barbecue. barbecue. I've had barbecue. Oh, my Jesus. 
You went to Texas and you. I went to I Tennessee. I went to Texas for a con. Yes. Guess what I'm doing all day? I'm in line. And guess when I'm <laughs> out of line? Nine o'clock. And what I'm gonna do? And walk my balls over two miles up to a barbecue shop, or am I gonna go up the street to McDonald's? This is you cut me in on autograph time, and we don't do that here. This you is... are a monster, yo. <laughs> <laughs> The first <laughs> place I went in Tennessee was a thing, bar, uh, barbecue place. BG. Then I tried a local pizzeria uh, down there in Chicago. That's saying, great. BG, uh, I, yeah. I, I beg you, go to Japan, leave his ass here. <laughs> he doesn't deserve it. He doesn't. He doesn't, he doesn't deserve doesn't. the culture. Hey, where's BG? Oh, he went to Japan. <laughs> what? <laughs> And just bring back as much fucking Japanese food as possible and just stock your damn house. <laughs> Anything he buys, throw Take in the away trash. The couch, you everything. will try this. <laughs> hot as wallet, hot as phone. <laughs> hey, what you eating today, DA? <laughs> He'll probably just walk, walk to up the... the street, go to that. Yeah, he's just Taco fucking. Bell. He's fucking flash. <laughs> Oh Dude, my god! Okay, we, we need it. We'll, we'll we'll be on this all damn day. We need to. Jesus. Yes, you are. Correct. Quit speaking when? in the third person. When did you become right? When did you say a right thing? I'm going to Japan to eat McDonald's. Though they do have some weird sandwiches over there yeah. that might be worth. But you won't try them. them. Hold on, no. hold on. J Japanese no, 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 no. I'm not saying I'm not trying to like a new Doritos flavor, but things that I have not tried, like oysters, lobster, crab, I'm never going to try that crab. <laughs> but if it's just a, another combination of a burger, I'll rock that out. You're not, you're not grubbing at a fine dining establishment. You're there for the environment. You're not there to fill your belly. You, you go in there 25% uh, full, you walking out freaking 60% full. You're not, you're not grubbing. But you go to McDonald's to grub. It's two totally different things. It's two totally different <laughs> objectives that's trying to be accomplished here. I'm just imagining like advertisements for McDonald's. McDonald's, you come here to grub. I'm mean, acting I, like people wouldn't walk in. Like I do come here to grub. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good slogan, yo. It's not like you're you're. Hey, McDonald's. Stuff the slop in your face. <laughs> no. You come here to grub. It's I'm like, just, you know what you're here for. I'm just you're saying, here to order though, a 20 piece and a burger. Like, I, I can agree with that sentiment completely. There are three numbers that you cannot wager on Jeopardy 1488 for its um, white supremacist connotations, 666 and 69. <sighs> nice. <laughs> I, I so, feel like Alex Trebek would have been cool with 69. So, yeah. like, like, could, can you do 69, 69? Can you do 169? Or is it just all 69 is just banned? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, what, I'm, that's what I want to know. Like, but is it can like. Can you do the, 88? The... Can you do four? Why not 420? Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Podcast of Stuff, episode 257. <clears throat> My voice isn't going a little bit. <laughs> That's what I happens when you're up fucking streaming most of your day for the Smash tournament, Mike. For four days straight. <laughs> I woke up today and started talking. Training. I was like, ooh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> welcome to the Podcast yeah. of Stuff, brothers. Oh, yeah. Who's cracking one open? <laughs> And mm -hmm. why one minute into the podcast? That wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> that was so, a Mountain Dew for me. Okay. I was like, so process of elimination. <clears throat> that goes to Ralph. What's up, Jet? What's up, Triton? What's up, Jeremiah? All right. So, yeah, uh, I've been this whole dang weekend watching uh, Ultimate Summit. Uh, has anyone else watched the DA at all? No. Nope. Okay. <clears throat> Ain't nobody um, give a fuck but you, Mike. I've I've watched some. No, I did care because uh, Friday something had happened, and because of that, I had gotten off of work early, and it was like eight or so. And I was like, I'm gonna hop in the Discord with Mike, and he just wasn't there. Ah, oh, shit! That was the one day I didn't sign in. I've been on every other day, and uh, there was a day where I'm like, oh man, I didn't. You, you should have just like messaged me or texted me. 
At that point, I ain't care no more. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but I, I, I've watched a little bit of it, just like oh, a smidge goes. here and there. My problem okay. with watching Smash stuff live is there's a lot of characters that I just don't care the care to watch. So I'm just so like who Ness. I no mean, it, for, for me, competitive play is competitive play, and I yeah, like watching here. high level stuff. No. Like I, even if it's a game I don't particularly like, as long as it's a fighting game, as long as it's understandable. Like I can watch a Yu Gi Oh tournament high level if without really knowing what they're doing. As long as it's uh good enough, uh, I can't like mobas. I can't get into. There's too much to. There's too much sensory overload. There's too much to consume and and understand to really get into high level play. Just clicking through channels and watching it. But Smash, I can watch that any day. Mm-hmm. Nah. Mm-hmm. There, there has <laughs> been do just like it, so I can just put matches on in the background. Just like Samus, nope. Uh, Link, nope. <laughs> Really, Link is like that for you yeah. too. Bomb boomerang, bomb boomerang, bomb boomerang. Yeah, and done. Young, young. See, I'm different. High level young Link with all the different combo strings that they can do off of boomerang and fire arrow is great. The jank with remote bomb with normal Link that uh, top level Links do, awesome. <laughs> What's wrong with Samus and Link? Um, online they are a little. They're kind of aids online. But um, right now in the tournament, um, so they just got through their winner's semis and then uh, loser's round three before quarterfinals. They have Tweak and Light <clears throat> in winner's semis and then Spargo and MK Leo. So that's kind of quick. Like that's that could be a, that's been grand at like the last five tournaments. Um, and then in losers, they have Proto Bonham, who is a was like the Min Min Terror of Japan. He also plays Lucina fighting. Base Mage, the Puff. Base Mage made top eight at this tournament, and it's kind of (laughs) bonkers. He has been playing out of his damn mind. And then (coughs) other side of losers is Elegant, the Luigi, and Glutoni, the uh, Wario from Europe. It's there's there's been some good shit (coughs) in this tournament. Um, and (laughs) so (laughs) I, I was telling Ralph this every so. Basically, anytime Base Mage is playing, Hungry Box is also streaming, and Hungry Box is like kind of adopted Base Mage as his like in community son, just because top puff main, top puff main, different games, and just it is literally watching a concerned father like <laughs> at a sporting event. <laughs> it's pretty fucking hilarious. Um, but yeah, just the uh, the like obviously with summits, you know, there's good matches, but all the side content's been really fun. They had um. Can Smashers land a plane, which was a bunch of different people trying to land a plane in Flight Simulator, and it was hilarious. <laughs> oh, that's all <sounds> fun. <laughs> yeah. And they had a whole legit ass setup. They had like three TVs, the whole the flight, the, the whole flight setup. Um, it was really fun. Um yeah, so far been very good summit. Um <clears throat> on that note, because I keep seeing uh Triton say I there's big news, there's big news. So um as we've been watching Smash, obviously, we're talking a lot of Smash. And Triton, uh, if those of you that are in the Discord, has talked about his list, um, which people keep calling a hit list, which I love. Um, it's just people that he wants to beat um, consistently. Uh, <clears throat> it includes me, DA, JCJ, Gavin, uh, Namek, a, a bunch of different people on the Discord, and what have you. And he had he had made like a bet. He was like, the next time I um, renew my Nintendo subscription, <clears throat> I want to beat half the people on my list. So at the first, I thought that was monthly. I'm like, oh, okay, that sounds. And it was just like, just beat once in a game. I'm like, okay, that sounds reasonable. And then I said, like, as a, an incentive, I'll buy you a sub <clears throat> uh, subscription to the channel if you manage to do that. And then I'm like, okay, when's your subscription run up? And he says, January 6th, 2023. I'm like, whoa, hold on. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> like, I did not know that was a yearly subscription. Let's let's renegotiate. Let's bring it back to the drawing board. <laughs> so um he wants to, so we it went to his entire list. And obviously, it's like if people want to actually partake in this, the, the people that are on this list, I'm doing it, Namek's doing it, <clears throat> and then anyone else that's on his list that wants to do it. And the format we have, we have uh, subscribed to is he has to win 
an official first to five format. First to five wins, like an actual tournament match. Um, because because you, he's like, I want to do it consistently. I'm like, well, what's the metric for consistently? Like, that's there's not really a metric for that. If you can do it in like kind of a tournament sort of setting, then yeah, like I I would consider that a consistent win. <clears throat> um, and so basically before that subscription ends, so before early January of next year, if he can first to five, everyone on his list that wants to participate. I am buying him a tier three sub. <clears throat> that was because I'm like, okay, a sub for like a year's worth of work. That kind of sucks. But a tier three and like just be, I, I might do it for a couple months too, just because that's a lot of work to put it's in. Worth it. <clears throat> yeah. Is it, is it mains? Is it random? Yes. Yeah, so actually whoever? he even stipulated for like, for people that have multiple mains, he wants to beat each of our mains. So for you, he said he wants to beat the Isabel and the Robin. And for me, he wants to beat the Ridley, the Byleth and the, and the Aegis. <clears throat> Well, and like the only person he didn't step, he gotta step up the ladder first <laughs> and get through Sephiroth. <laughs> but it's, uh, but yeah, but like, as far as like, as, as far as like his qualifications for his list, that's where he's going. The only care, the only player he didn't specify was Namek because that that bastard mains random. <laughs> you just say I hate, and then you say a character name. He goes bet. <laughs> that's who I'm playing next. <laughs> He tried for so long to beat me. And he did not. So yeah, because I told uh, so him because yeah. he's got this. He's got this thing that's just like I'm asking Da questions. I'm like I don't have to answer your questions, but if you beat me, I'll answer your questions. And he okay. tried. And he tried. <laughs> he didn't. And I'm just like, well, try again next time if you if you really want it. <clears throat> So yeah, uh, that is that is his like <coughs> training benchmark of this next year for trying to get good get good at uh, Smash Ultimate. <clears throat> and yeah, uh, good luck, good sir. Uh, as far as uh, I, does, I don't know how Da is concerned, but at least from your friendlies, it, I think he's kind of the same way as me. I ain't taking anything easy on you. <laughs> oh no, never ever. <clears throat> You're not gonna learn if you if you if I take things easy on you. You gotta learn how to get out of this oppressive, just just wall of of Lloyds and pew pews and fishing mm-hmm. rods. I'm not. I'm not. <clears throat> no. Uh. Uh-uh, uh. Absolutely mm-hmm. not. That's not. And and I'm and every time I, and I'll take that back. I do take it easy on them. I will plant a Lloyd and I will step back and just go. You saw that I planted the Lloyd Triton. What are you gonna do? And he'll mm-hmm. just step on it. I'm like, you're not learning, Triton. You aren't gonna beat Isabel if you don't learn exactly where the Lloyd is and what to do with the Lloyd there. It's not What's even you... so much as taking it easy as taking it step by step in yes. learning. Yes. Mm-hmm. Because once he starts like, okay, now I can jump over the Lloyds because I know exactly where he placed it. And I'm like, okay, now that you learn how to jump over the Lloyd, can you jump over the Lloyd while I'm pew pewing you? You can do that. All right, what about pew fish, fishing rod? What about when I mix that up? What about when I just uh, explode it as you're trying to jump over it? Those are the things that you need to do. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to <laughs> teach him that. I'm trying. <laughs> So oh, yeah, um, I've been playing Smash it forever, dude. I need to play some Smash. He actually wanted to add you to the list. For what? <laughs> Just because he he wants he wants to like beat everybody here, Ralph. That's dude, uh, I don't, don't I don't worry don't know about where Ralph. My <laughs> level is that's give it the thing. give it a month, and you're in you're halfway as good as me. <laughs> My Isabel is only there because I needed somebody hey. to beat your um. Thanks for the reason. I always say us. Rosalina. Not Rosalina. Um, Paulatina. Paulutina. And I stumbled on her and I was like, I really like her. That's all that was. And now it's all you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, I looked at my hours played with each character. I went, oh, this is disgusting. <laughs> no, it's nothing. It's nothing more sobering than seeing your time played on something. Because... I will look at my Shadowverse time played and I'll go, this is an unbelievable number and I cannot fathom even anybody playing something this long. It's almost 3,000 hours. I just, like, what I, am I doing? I looked at uh, I looked at my uh, hours played of each character very recently too. Boy, is it skewed. <laughs> <laughs> it is like 
I want to say 95% Ridley. <laughs> and then Dude, Violet is creeping up there a bit. But uh, when I was uh, heavy into MKX, it was like 96% Cassie. And I was taking my to local. So everybody was playing somebody. Dude, it was disgusting. <clears throat> Mine is pretty healthy. I think uh, Isabel is only tripling Robin. <clears throat> That's uh, fair, actually. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you, you, you switch more than later. me. Um, you definitely switch more off of main. What do you do? Me. Just like a day of, oh, I feel like playing some Robin today. Uh, or is normally, it just like whatever you feel like? Normally it's like um, five or six people that I'll play with Isabel, two or three with Robin, one or two with uh, Sephiroth. <clears> I typically don't do that. Split up and then go <laughs> back to Isabel before I end my session. Nowadays, it's a couple of days. It's like a couple of days of Ridley, and then the only times I'll switch between characters is usually <clears throat> Byleth and Aegis. Um, I'll switch maybe in a day, but usually it's like one day on a character. <clears throat> Just because it's usually I'm like doing like I'm doing awesome, and I want to keep playing as that character. I'm like getting getting clips and stuff, or Elite Smash is Elite Smashing. Or I'm just having an off day, and I'm like, I need one more win. I need one more win, and I just chase that until I get a migraine. <laughs> no, it's just I'm 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 doing it for fun, and I I realized that man, I'm having so much fun with Sephiroth. <laughs> really? I'm playing Sephiroth so much. Do you do? do I'm you not do... that good with them, but I'm just like. Man, this move is fun. Do you do the online Sephiroth thing of after you get a kill, do you just slowly walk across the stage? No. Okay. <laughs> I've got, I've, I don't, I've, I'm not seeing this person. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. I'm not teabagging. This isn't doing anything for me. No. It, it, it does no something for do a lot of people that I come across. <laughs> <laughs> Sephiroth is fun. He's actually, I think, my fourth highest played character because I was, I was when he came out, I was playing him a lot. He's so much <clears> fun. Very precise. That's his only, especially the online. That's his only issue for the most part. But <clears throat> doesn't make him not fun at all. All right. <clears throat> of course, your weekly reminder: Black Lives Matter. Stop Asian hate. Wear your goddamn masks. Get your boosters and vaccines, and support Ukraine. <clears throat> A lot of companies are pulling stuff, which is not a huge surprise. Um, Dude, ne- just straight out of Russia. Yeah, You're Netflix- not getting it, y'all. <clears throat> Netflix canceling their services in Russia. Um, WB, Sony, and Disney pulling movie releases. Um, the one that I kind of chuckled at, just because it's like I like, it's still expected, but I almost feel like they're still wanting the good PR, which was Activision Blizzard. <laughs> We're here too. <laughs> <laughs> what about employees? What if, we, we are with the people of Russia. What about the women at your company? <laughs> we <laughs> don't support them. Management. Oh boy. <clears throat> so yeah. Um, uh, last... Funny enough, it's like one of the one of the companies that you think would just completely go completely under the radar and say nothing. Was was Elon Musk and Tesla, but the man can't help himself. He had really good PR going because he gave uh, Ukraine and there was their their military there free unlimited access <clears throat> to Starlink, his internet service, mm-hmm. which can get up to speeds of like three hundred megs a second. F- again, he's offering that free, but on the same. In the same uh, in the same breath, he decides to not pull Russian news outlets from his service uh, because of somebody needs to champion free speech. Mm. The Russian news networks are <clears throat> hilariously state owned. The few private call even at that much at that mark private news networks uh have closed their doors in the past week the last one of the last ones one of the last major ones shut down had their last broad te- broadcast like three <clears throat> days ago now because the state is openly punishing and censoring anybody who says anything to critique 
Russians' uh, involvement in Ukraine. So you'd think, hey, this is a no-brainer. Say nothing. Do nothing. Instead, he tweets out that, you know, he's going to champion free speech for a country that doesn't champion free speech. It's it's just hilariously unbalanced. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Seem, seems to be his uh, his M.O. at this point. He he just is incapable of playing things right. He plays things really, really openly greedy. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so yeah, um, and at last I checked of like the conflict itself, um, um, they Russia had captured one of the major cities. However, their convoy was basically like put to a standstill. The forty mile convoy. Yes, it was. Any there any... is also there was also an agreement to open a corridor for yes. emergency aid that um, they're still bombing. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, the the news coming from Ukraine is the news coming from Ukraine. Russia is just bombing the shit of everything they can and nothing has changed. Uh, Zelensky met with Biden and select U.S. senators, I believe it was today or was that yesterday my grasp on time this weekend has been <clears throat> shit um and it's funny because in the article i was reading it said it, the article title was Zelensky and putin meet with world leaders okay, i saw that like a day or two ago okay so it was like yesterday then for the most part so Zelensky meets with biden and select you know world leaders via you know in the internet and select u.s senators in person do you know who putin meets that people consider quote-unquote world leaders don't do it. <laughs> take a take take. I want each of you to take a guess of a country. Oh, okay. Oh, country. Whoa, okay. Whoa. I was thinking uh, DA's boy. <laughs> yeah, that's the same thing I was thinking. I got nothing for you to end. <laughs> Ralph, I can't name countries, bro. I am. Y'all, was... one of these days, y'all will understand this is not a joke from your boy. I don't know geography. <laughs> one of these days, y'all will learn. <laughs> oh, just... Ralph, you weren't even in the uh, list exists Discord uh, part <clears throat> where they just asked me straight up, "What's continents? What are the continents? How many are there?" Oh my god, bro, I couldn't. I, they asked me where Egypt was. I couldn't tell them. Wait, what? No, I couldn't. Like the, the, the mouth of the Nile, homie. I, uh, that means nothing to me. Where's the Nile? Oh my god. Bro, I don't know where the Nile is. You're telling me nothing. Oh my God, no. There's a joke in there. Oh my God, no. Anyway, Mike, do you happen to hazard a guess? Uh, Damn it! I'm glad you recognize North Korea. The Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia. Oh wait! Oh, oh no. no! I saw this. The uh, to uh -huh. moderate talks. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> Oh, Saudi. Drake, I forgot about that. <laughs> wait, yeah. wait, what? They so earlier, like I mean, literally three minutes before they asked me, they had said Australia was a continent, and I couldn't name Australia. Wow! How did you get through <laughs> school, dude? <laughs> I I can absorb the information at the moment. I have a great memory. Wow, that is great. Uh, I have a great memory. I have a great memory for things I give a sh about. I don't give a sh about geography. I absorb the information. I reiterate it on paper, and then it leaves my mind. So you Guns don't up. have the ability to associate base markings on a map to help designate what is where. I absolutely do. But I don't give a shit. I'm saying and just off rip. Like, you can't just look at that and go, oh, that shape looks familiar. That must be France. That must be Spain. I that can't grocery shop because I can't get around the store. Because I don't Whoa. give a shit. Wait a minute. Hey, DA, am I lying about this? You spit on me somehow. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. So your ability to use, like, visual representations for knowledge is, like, non-existent. Uh, yeah, if I don't give a sh about it. Oh. 
So your brain doesn't like auto store that shit. No, it auto stores other things like arguments from 13 years ago that I could bring up in an argument today to prove my point. I, dude, it is a zero sum game. I got nothing for you. I mean, nothing. That is legitimately terrifying. <laughs> I am, I am, I am scared for your future. Why? What is, what is, what's, what's it gonna do for me? It's just you're not gonna care one day and just gonna fucking walk off a cliff. <laughs> Why would I be near where a cliff is? Because, if I, I don't know. Going, Maybe Mike know takes your ass walking somewhere and you walk off a cliff thinking, I'm gonna turn here. Then I'm following Mike. And that's your first mistake. Uh, truly. <laughs> I... Oh, Hawaka, <laughs> I spent a year without an ID. That meant nothing to me. I okay. got on a plane and I booked a hotel room. Why are you yelling? Why are you yelling? No, that's what are you yelling at? <laughs> this man <laughs> booked. This man booked, and then he is a separate hotel. Casually walking across the stage right now. Who are you doing this for? <laughs> This man checked into a hotel using his Facebook <laughs> app to confirm Absolutely. his identity. They went, hey, you got a Facebook? I said, yep. <clears throat> oh, the name matches. All right, you're in here. Then you can just type whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the system was, but it worked. <laughs> Bummery doesn't begin to put it for this man. Both of them, the brothers themselves, are the king bums of separate region, of uh, separate areas How of life. How am I a bum? Because Dude, I don't give a shit about bummery. geography. That's How am bummery. I a bum? Please explain. How am I a bum? The ID thing, the lack oh. of ability to auto store just base knowledge like that. Just it's bummer. No, I have much base knowledge of sh I care about. Most of it is entirely useless <laughs> unless somebody brings up, hey, you know what? This episode of Pepper Ran really wasn't that great. And then all of a sudden you recall cursed knowledge that no human being should technically have about the lines from this one episode of Pepper Ran. And then the argument goes in your favor because no one on this planet should have that memory. The, uh, DA does. I'm going to say Bane. DA will. That was what I was referencing. Both of so, you are equivalent to this <laughs> bummery. But again, it's things I care about. Um, I love math. Me. I love science. I love I love books. Ask me about some books. None of none of them fancy thinky books though. No, thank you. Hold up. Fancy think we're moving on. I'm already done with that None, exact of, them, none of them philosophy <clears throat> think on you nah nah nah. Give me a nice cozy detective novel. Thanks. <clears throat> All right. BG, can you do integrals? <laughs> I uh, thought you said yeah. I love math if, for a second. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, that's DA. That's DA. If, if I can't, give me 20 minutes to brush up on it, and I'll I'll be able to do them. Because, you know, when you don't use something for so long, it kind of fades from your memory. But if you get a quick recourse, you can. it's like a bike. Mm -hmm. Moving <clears throat> on. I'm, I'm kind of sad. <laughs> All right. you, 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 be sad, mother. You, you think in a time that pretty much directs political and geographic knowledge as a, a necessity to have, you, you don't have it. It's just I don't understand. Uh, necessitates in what way? The, the world around us is rapidly changing day to day based off of the geographical politics that are just advancing pretty much hour by hour, and you're not interested in that. Uh, I'm interested in the technology that helps advance it. But the political aspect of what changes based on the decision mm, making. You lost me. Yeah, I, I, I don't mean, know. I medical can't science is advancing every single day. Are you not interested in that? We can't I be am interested actually. in everything and I am actually brush I up on that too. everything and read up on everything. We can't. You should at least like like dip your toe in to see, okay, so what's going on in the world today? There's so much going on in the world today. When do you stop? Yeah. Triton, I'm literally exactly. in the middle of a in cast. I said it would take me maybe 20 minutes to brush up on. I still got to talk to these bums about stuff. <laughs> Next topic. Next topic. <clears throat> All right. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Let's see. Let's do some uh, show movie stuff. So... I think it was either the last podcast or the podcast before. We were like, hey, all the Marvel shows are leaving uh, Netflix. That kind of sucks. And basically, as we all guessed, they are coming to Disney+. Plus, <clears throat> Which yeah, that's not uh, leads to, hey, and they're like changing how they uh, 
funnel like age <clears throat> restricted stuff. Um, you said AIDS for a second there. <laughs> AIDS restricted, yes. How they funnel <laughs> AIDS? I'm like, wait, <laughs> what? But yeah, so uh, like obviously the Marvel Netflix stuff is way more mature than basically anything else that is on Disney Plus. <clears throat> so that leads to hey, there could be more of this kind of stuff. The Punisher either season is like the worst thing they're going to be adding to that service. I mean, there's a lot of violence in all these shows. Oh, dude, it's Daredevil season one. That dude impales himself on a spike, his head. He shoves his head into a spike. (laughs) This is true. When he says Fisk's name. (laughs) This is true. Fisk's Uh, scene where he smashes a dude's head in the car door. Yep, that too. There's a lot. (laughs) So um hopefully it leads way to some R rated movies. I do not want PG thirteen Deadpool. Sorry, yeah. y'all. <clears throat> I hope to Oh uh, no, P- I think Deadpool doing... Yeah, they just said they're doing R still. See, they say that, but then there was uh wishy washiness on Blade, which should be R. And right now oh. they're leaning towards PG thirteen. No, Blade needs to be hard R. See? But that's, that's what I'm saying. Blade is a harder sell than the third Deadpool movie starring Ryan Reynolds. I don't think it is. I think people... Uh, it depends on the audience you're cultivating. Are you still... Are you looking at Blade for a new 15 to 25 type of people? Or are you looking at Blade for the 35 to 45 but, people? But you still have to look at it as a not as well-known character as Deadpool. Not as funny. <laughs> Um, you got Ryan Reynolds, who's already got an audience. You got Deadpool, who already has got an audience. Um, you got the comedy. <clears throat> oh, I already said comedy. But it's a lot of things, and it's the third movie. There's a lot of things going for that. Plus, you can always bring in some X-Men, like they did in the second one. That's always an option. As opposed to just Blade. <laughs> but at the same time, it gives them a fresher uh, ability to do a R film because there's no expectations of a blade. Mm-hmm. But then you're just you could put in money in and not get it back, and that's always. But how much for. how much money would a blade uh, need? Like it's not a bunch of flashy stuff. It's a uh, some vampires. Well, that's a good question. How much is Morbius? What's the budget on that? Uh, blade should have a the... higher budget than Morbius. I, yeah, I feel like Jared Leto commands a lot of that budget, though, just being, you know, Jared Leto. Unfortunately, uh, yeah. <laughs> Jesus uh, Christ, DA, what's taking so long? It's not coming up. <laughs> the data ain't processed. They hiding it from me. <laughs> <clears throat> wow, that's being pulled up. Um, just... I, I did not exactly read the full article, but uh, John Cho, who played Spike Spiegel in the Netflix adaptation, live action mm-hmm. adaptation of Cowboy Peepop, called the cancellation quote unquote shocking, which nobody watched it, my dude. <laughs> That's the big uh, issue. I think people watched it. I think that people were just not very respect- receptive to no, it. No, people didn't watch it because All right, they never were not mind. receptive to it. Maybe I'll shut up about things I don't know. The thing about um, Cowboy Bebop, As you should. it wasn't like Squid Games where <clears throat> it's fine if it does okay, but if it does tremendous, that's fantastic. Uh, Cowboy Bebop, it, was, it took so much money that it needed to be a smash hit right away. So even if it gets a cult following, following like three years later, <clears throat> it, it's not enough to green light the very next season. Mm-hmm. Which which sucks because it was a fine season. Like, no, it, it wasn't groundbreaking, so it fails. That's not <laughs> fair. <laughs> <laughs> Groundbreaking or death. Come on. That's how this shit rolls. That yep. should be how we do things. That's how we roll. You need to get with it or get out of the way. But then, <laughs> even things that are kind of groundbreaking, like Midnight Mass, just get kind of a caught follow. What? <laughs> groundbreaking. Oh, let's not talk Mr. Hard R. <laughs> <laughs> so I just found it funny. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> I don't know why it's making me laugh, but <laughs> oh uh, shit! After uh, almost a month, I want to say of 
negotiating uh, his own pay and potent. I, I haven't read, but he potentially may have negotiated higher pay for his fellow voice actors. Uh, John oh, DiMaggio. That's one of, that's that was happened. one. That was one of his holdouts. So here's mm-hmm. hoping that's what that means. John DiMaggio is officially returning as Bender in the new Futurama season. Yeah, I kept forgetting to talk about this during the other podcast, but yeah, he was. It was. Hey, you, you drama was coming daughtery? back. Pot daltery. Hmm? Pot daltery. You going to other podcasts? You see what I'm saying? I forgot to talk about it on the other podcast, so it's a daltery for a podcast. Like so. On. Uh, <laughs> <moving> on. <laughs> Thank you, see Mike. I appeal to his kind. <laughs> That's not who you should Enjoy be that. appealing to. <laughs> But yeah, um, it was a big announcement. Hey, Futurama's coming back. And it was, hey, all these people are coming back. And people were like, where's John DiMaggio? What's going on with that? He was just like, I don't know. He, he didn't say anything, but he was retweeting and liking a whole bunch of stuff. Like, hey, it's kind of weird that John DiMaggio is not going to be in here. Y'all not going to recast him or anything like that. And he's just liking and retweeting, not saying anything. And then he put out <clears> a huge <throat> post like, hey, yo, I deserve more. Y'all deserve more. They deserve more. People don't want to give it to us. So it's it's not a hard job, but you know it's a job. We're we're the characters. We're people. Who, you know. So so it was just like, and if I ain't gotta be here, I ain't gotta be here. And voice actors um stood up for them. Anime people, cartoon people, all sorts of people. It just stood up for them. It's essentially a job where at any given moment, outside of your own choice, you could just be out of it. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's what a lot of people were saying. It's like. <laughs> This is such a, it's such a job where it could just like you can just be replaced by somebody who sounds good enough, and people will care. But then the show just goes on. Yep. Um, which actually almost kind of goes into I know right now, <clears throat> um, I don't know the super specifics of it, but I've just seen so much back and forth on it. Apparently, there's like a union dispute right now for VAs. I don't know if you've seen I'm not surprised. But dude, just give people more money <clears throat> and fair f- in compensation for their job. You know he wants to do that. This is a, this is especially coming with the Funimation Crunchyroll merger. Yeah, like all right, uh, <clears throat> big merger. Sony oh, Sony that. owned. Maybe we could get some more money going. Maybe we get a union going because uh, voice actor pay is piss. Piss. Yeah. <clears throat> Especially for, like, Funimation has been non-union, which, you know, shocker, they're in Texas. Um, um, Dallas, especially. So, like, the conservative corner, (laughs) super conservative corner of Texas. Um, And, um, yeah, with, uh, so, with the merger of Funimation, or Sony now owning both Funimation and Crunchyroll, they are now just combining everything under the Crunchyroll name, and the Funimation brand is just gone. I hate it. They are... It's, it's going away. So everything, oh, <clears throat> so like stupid. Dragon Ball, Full Metal Alchemist, what have you, it's it's not Funimation Productions anymore. It is Crunchyroll Productions or whatever the hell they're going to call it. I really <clears throat> hate it. There is no reason to do this. Yeah, especially since Funimation is the name for the voice portion of it. I don't understand. They just, Funimation they wanna... has been going on since the 90s. And all of a sudden, it's just, hey, merger, we're out of here. It's like, that why? That happens every day in business. Every day. Crunchyroll probably tested stronger as a recognized brand at this point for anime, and they just figured, okay, we're just going to go with the one that has better name recognition. Yeah, that, that happens all the time. It's, uh, so yeah, with that, they're like, a lot of the, there's a lot of negotiations going on right now. I know there's been like, <clears throat> people, like, um, international voice actors were just like, hey, like, can there be something for us? And I know there's been, like, some spats back and forth of just, like, fuck you, international voice actors. Let, let us worry about us U.S. people. And it's like, whoa, hold on. We want you guys to get paid, too. But we're like, hey, what about us as well? Like, there's just been a lot of <clears throat> vitriol back and forth amongst that community. It's, for it's what? Been, it's people want money. I understand you want money, but why not also <laughs> fight for your fellow people to get money? Called, it's called greed, and they if they, they feel Massively like if they strong. they feel like if they detract from their own fight, they give the people who will take away from theirs. Like the naysayers will have more ammo. Like, oh, you're focusing over here now instead of on yourself. So you clearly don't want it enough. 
that's just like people that are like, uh, why are you talking about this when there's real issues going exactly. on? Exactly. Like people can't be able to get their ire up for multiple <clears throat> reasons at once. No, mm-hmm. people can't people can't differentiate that. But you if you, can, you the can talk you spread about that out. You can talk about your thing hundred twenty dollar purchase of Battlefield Five being sh- and Ukraine in the same like it it doesn't hurt your stance <laughs> no. on Ukraine because you're also complaining about something else that has nothing to do with that. No, it does, clearly. Oh dude. The, the, the human race is done so. <laughs> I need to become a, a Musk billionaire so I can just fly off of this stink hole. You the first one to sign up for trip to Mars? <clears throat> one-way trips? I would never do that. <laughs> I, honestly, never. I love books, but my God, I need stimulation. Hey, you could get what the, the Musk net or whatever the fuck you would probably call it. <laughs> Terrible. Ooh, no, the thank musk you. Net. <laughs> Uh, let's see, moving right along. Um, I don't know if this movie would interest you. I know it's like a thriller horror. Um, BG Fresh, I've been seeing, has been getting good ratings. I don't know. I haven't it, heard of it. It's like a thriller, uh, horror take on modern dating that stars a Sebastian Stan, Winter Soldier of Winter Soldier fans. Oh, yeah, I do know about that. Yeah, no, that sounds interesting. Okay, you haven't seen it Why yet, wouldn't though? that interest me? <clears throat> I don't know. Bro, if it's if it looks good in the horror space I'm in, if it looks good in the thriller space I'm in, I, I consume saw, stupid amount of media. I saw the poster um on my on my TV, it's a little smart TV and they have little advertisements for things and it just said fresh. I was like, is this the fresh prince? <laughs> I'm not watching that. <laughs> Why are you targeting me for this? But yeah, I've been seeing it get it. Oops. Jesus Christ, I have, I have a stupid foot right massager and I accidentally turned it on. <laughs> I felt something move job, against my yeah. feet. Just freaked okay, me Mike. the fuck out. A foot, foot massager, Mike. Yeah, for Christmas. Sure, sure Mike. Foot <laughs> massager. I will send you a I damn know. picture after this cast. <laughs> I'd rather not <laughs> covered in blood. <laughs> what? I hope that's all it's covered in. <laughs> what? But, um... <clears throat> Let's see, let's see. Um, there was a trailer for the DC League of Super Pets. Uh, Keanu Reeves' Batman kind of sounds pretty fire, not going to lie. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop this real quick. There was a poster for it for uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson as uh, Crypto. Crypto. And it was just like, Dwayne Johnson! League of Super Pets. Little tiny words, little tiny baby words. It was, I was like, oh, this movie is Dwayne Johnson, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's offensive. That's that's all it's just marketing stuff. You're not here for for the for the Superman dog. You here for the for the rock. Of course. I hate this crap. <laughs> but uh yeah, Keanu as Batman is pretty good. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I actually enjoyed the trailer a bit. Um, speaking of the Batman, <clears throat> you two went to go what see a it. Transition. Right? Wrong. You didn't. We were scheduled to go see it. Aha. But for some reason, our the the uh, theater we love going to their app. I don't know what's going on with it, but you'll buy a ticket and then it'll go. It'll take the money out and then it'll go. You didn't buy that ticket. No. No fun. Uh-uh. Oh no! And the and the tickets will they'll be shown as sold, so nobody else can buy them. But you didn't buy those. Nope. And then in like forty minutes, I'll be like, "Oh, nobody bought these tickets. Let's uh put, put them, them back, back up. up." You didn't want these tickets, did you? So did you lose that money? Like through, oh no, it comes back in like three to five business days. Okay. Jesus. But, okay. Yeah. It's just like so we were. At that point, we were just like, oh, it's too late. Whatever. So we're all just going to see it whenever we see it mm-hmm. okay. separately. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, it's been getting extremely good ratings. Here's, say the least. here's what worries me. Mm. There's a lot of Batman fans that don't like it. 
Really? And I have to wonder, <clears throat> what is it that you like about the Batman that you don't like about this, the Batman? Mm -hmm. And I wonder if it's very much like they don't want the detective bush. They want yeah, that that's action. What, that's what a lot of this movie is, right? Is It's more on the detective side than the uh, crime fighter side. Detective and cerebral stuff. <laughs> and they mm -hmm. don't want that. They want him breaking bones and putting fear in people's hearts. So, I don't know. I think I might like it. <clears throat> what was it? Uh, I went to the barber and the the barber was... we. He's talking. He's like, "Did you go see the new Batman?" I'm like, "No, nah, I haven't. Yeah, I'll probably wait a few weeks until theaters clear out a little bit." He's like, "He's like, yeah, I have a couple of friends. Like, <clears throat> he was a big fan of the Nolan trilogy, and he's like, I, have, I had some oh. big fans uh, that uh, made me angry because they said it was better than the Nolan Batman's.' And he's like, I wasn't about that. I'm like, oh, okay. So, you know, just sitting there, I'm like, I don't have any skin in this game, so <laughs> I, I would have talked hard to that man. Like, why is them saying that? hurting your perception yeah. of it one and two why are you being such a fanboy that you can't accept that something could be better there why would never you... be a better batman movie why would you just clap that you get an even better batman movie because i didn't I, want I an like... awkward haircut <laughs> <laughs> oh you know what you're right shit <laughs> oh, I'll cut off one of your eyebrows. I'll grow back. Uh, free of charge, bro. Don't even worry about it. I'll fix it up as I can, and you be on your way. Just wear a hat. Hey, don't get mad at me. Why so serious? Am I right? <laughs> it's like the Nolan trilogy that you hate. Hey, where'd you get this scar? What? Just, ah! <laughs> oh, boy. You should have asked him what he thought about the third movie. That's what it told you everything. Again. I didn't want to get in any form of that no. kind of discussion. <laughs> I just, again, there are certain things where I'm just like, I like, I don't tend to talk too much during haircuts. Um, if if initiated, like, <clears throat> yeah, I'll talk back to my barber. But I view it like almost the same way as like being in a checkout line. I just want to get the thing done and leave. <laughs> All right, good for you. <clears throat> but see. I feel like it's so much different from a checkout line because you're just one on one sitting there with a person doing something for upwards of ten minutes. Oh, for, it's Gotta, half hour for me. I see what I'm saying. <clears throat> so it's not even just like uh, check out you pay a cash credit. It's a two to four minute transaction and you're out of there. You're spending a half hour. It's like they said it was better than Nolan. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just no. I'll, I'll, I'll just say like, yeah, they were good, <clears throat> and that's about all I'll give, and then just maybe transition to like other things or like I forget what we talked about after that. We talked about other like DC movies or something else, but <clears throat> but yeah, I usually won't go like I won't challenge an opinion. I'll just be like, throw out other opinion, <laughs> tangential See, opinion. So if we say it, so if we say it, the prequels of Star Wars were the best three Star Wars movie. You just like, mm. yep. <laughs> Dude, I couldn't. I <laughs> honestly couldn't. Like, I can, I can suspend Thank you, Cyber. what I want to do for a little while, but eventually it's just like, yo, uh-uh, <clears throat> what the f did you just say? Because at the end of the day, too, like, most barbers, it's like, he was just like, have you watched this show on HBO? I'm like, nope. And it's just like, my tastes do not align to this person. Like, the things that I will talk, talk your ear out about, you don't care about. <laughs> At all, <clears throat> boy, I can't. I couldn't even. <clears throat> hey, uh, I'm sorry. This is a, a weird transition. Hey, Da, do you remember anything about the movie Countdown? Yeah, plenty. Wow, I remember nothing. <clears throat> yeah. it, it started uh being a little viral because I think it came to like Netflix or something, and there were a bunch of people like posting about it. Oh, and no. I went, no, it's in I there. literally watched this movie and I don't remember. No, it's in there. All right, man. Well, you got any what? questions? Nope, none. All right, just making sure. If you got any <laughs> questions, I can answer them. There was just a bathroom <laughs> scene, and I was like, "That was the beginning. That was the first kill." That no, was... no, no. It was in like a porta potty. It was some black dude or something, or some dude. I, I don't remember what it was. Not a porta potty, but a, a regular bathroom. Oh yeah, with the bathroom stall. Yeah, he had a little brother that was just like, <laughs> "Oh man, I regretted my little brother," and the little brother came shambling over, yep, and he was, was he was scared of it. <laughs> Dude, I'm surprised you remember that much. Oh, no. Then again, no, 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 no. 
I remember all that movie. <laughs> no mistake. Bro, I remember shit about it. Lucky you. That's just mercifully <laughs> gone from my memory. All right. Let's see. Um, <clears throat> going down. Um, video game stuffs. Um, one, just it, it was just like a tiny little muscle thing. Switch is five years old. I, just time passes by fast. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. Just like, it holy does. shit, you're that. <laughs> it's been that pandemic. long. <laughs> hmm? This pandemic is what's really hurting me. <laughs> yeah, honestly, honestly. Because <clears throat> it's like, happy fifth birthday, Breath of the Wild. I'm like, it's that? It's what? <laughs> it's been that like, long? It's, it's been, that means it had to have been five to six years. Since we were at your place, and you yes. like, yes, I'm pre-ordering now. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was it was the January Hangout. That was when the trailer was. It was, uh, or no. No, that was, that was E3. That was E3 that year. I'm pretty sure. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Explosion in my head. Almost six years. <clears throat> um... Yeah, that's yeah. I was I was insufferable <laughs> during that whole trailer. To oh, them. oh my god, dude! Unbelievable! I was yes! a giddy. Yes! I was a yes! giddy. Yes! I was a giddy school kid, and, and, and they are the bullies around the corner. Like we need to teach this kid some lesson. We need to bring him down a peg. <laughs> oh boy! Hey, I know y'all would do the same for me if you're going to happen. Yes, oh, absolutely. Man. But it wouldn't even be like Mike. I'd be crying. So <laughs> I was gonna say you'd probably be a little bit closer to Da's reaction to Sora getting into Smash. No, I wouldn't scream. I would legitimately just cry. Yeah, we would, we would just hear probably ugly tears, just like full on. <laughs> no, 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 no. If, if, if he had eyeliner, it would just be all down his face. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, question: What would it, would would you cry for a remake or would you cry for a new game? Uh, either one. Either one. It's okay. just the fact that people are thinking about it's it. It's just the fact Sony is thinking about it and willing to put money into a new entry. <clears throat> so yeah. So so question then. I, I just weird thought. So would it? What would the reaction be if you see that they announce? Not a remake, but a new Legend of Dragoon game, and also pair it with a movie announcement. Uh, more crying? Like, what do you want from me? <laughs> what? Wait, what do you want? I only have what, so what, much what feelings, Ralph. That you're aiming for what? harder <laughs> crying? What? Would, would the tears? Would the, like, <laughs> would the threat of a movie void of bowels? <laughs> the bleed from the ears? <laughs> Okay, Would the thought of a bad movie offset it? And then I start to cry. What, what do you want from what is, ER what, visit? What? what? <laughs> know, what? Yeah, I went to the hospital. <laughs> they said my blood pressure real high. Okay, cool. No, like, <laughs> would the threat of a bad movie for Dragoon offset any excitement? No, absolutely not. I wouldn't okay. give a shit. Okay. Because I still got Dragoon. Uh, okay. I can tell you this: they'd get a hundred dollars in movie tickets from at least one person. <laughs> <laughs> Look, look, Dragoon, so Detroit supports you. <laughs> Bro, I'd, be, I'd be doing everything I could. I was going to say just 100? Just to give people movie tickets. <laughs> <laughs> Support Dragoon. What? Wow. <clears throat> All right. Wow. Good enough. Um, on the Switch note, uh, there is a demo of the Kirby game out right now. I'm debating playing it because I might want to just save it until it actually comes out. It's like a, only a couple weeks too. <clears throat> I've heard um, good things. Yeah, I've heard good things also. Yes. Um, and then finally, last bit of news: um, <clears throat> Twitch has announced a new policy that they will start heavily moderating and/or banning channels that intentionally spew misinformation so it's been a good run guys um <laughs> yeah we were never good <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean as much as much uh 
uh, bullshit I give up given tips for Smash Bros, I'm probably labeled as misinformation at this point. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> But um, what's the criteria by which they measure intentional? I mean, that's 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 that's, that's the the golden that's the golden question. There is no barometer; <clears throat> it's just yeah. their own decisions. Yeah, it's just the people at top deciding. Yeah, no, that's too far. Sorry. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah, that's always been that's the. I mean, that's the free speech argument. That's yeah. Uh, where's the line? Where's the line at? How did this affect crypto bros? <clears throat> Big time. And the, and, the, and the gambling people. Big time. Big time. Yeah. Oh, this is... This ain't great. This mm-hmm. is a very weird thing. I'm sure it was mostly meant for COVID misinformation, because you know them people go scoop it. I mean, would COVID, that... Russia especially now is kicking in strong. I was about to say, would that, like, also play into opinions? That idiot Hassan. I'm sorry, what? Would that also play into opinions? Like, hey, this song is... No, I don't think so. Objectively <laughs> the best. <laughs> I think it's only going to pertain to, like, oh. important world matters. So, someone like on Twitch? Someone's dissing Kanye, a band! <laughs> <laughs> what are we... No, it, it's not opinion thing. It's mostly the, like... <clears throat> no, uh, <clears throat> Ukraine were the aggressors in that. Something like that. That's where you go. Mm-mm, yeah. Rock. Uh, if vermicidin is as effective as the vaccine, if not more so, yeah. No, you're gone. <clears throat> Iver, oh, it's Iver something. I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't like the, do yeah, the pronunciation. I don't. T- yeah. Iver and they can Iver spew medicine. it out a thousand times. <clears throat> yeah. Well, yeah. Um. <laughs> so I can't gaslight anymore. I mean, I don't think it's necessarily anything with the chats. Um, it's on the channels. If I, if if you repeatedly gaslighted, and I was just like, "Yep, he, what he's saying is absolute truth. Every every word out of Jed Blaze Thunder's mouth is truth." <laughs> then yeah, we could get banned. <clears throat> but but surely this would have to be by by way of some sort of um, <laughs> self policing. The chat has to come in and be like, "Hey, check out this," because there's no way that. Twitch is going to be watching every single stream. For yeah, yeah, I think it'll be like for every single... you know social media. If it's like some channels getting heat or yeah, just reporting some clip in goes general. Viral. <clears throat> mm-hmm. I can see that. This I mean, is terrible. YouTube I can't can... manipulate people anymore. <laughs> YouTube can barely police their videos, and they have uh, so many algorithms <laughs> and bots reading things, and it's still just not enough. Mm-hmm. And I, I've been uh, now that I know how to properly ban people. Thanks, BG. Um, <laughs> I've been banning so so many like buy followers now this weekend. We've gotten a bunch. <laughs> oh, I don't doubt it. They always I uh, I have mod. I have the mod uh, options on the chat at all times. <clears throat> there you go. Um, but yeah, uh, <clears throat> we'll see kind of how that goes. Um, see because you know as. DA alluded to there could be <clears throat> could be rife for over policing. Time will tell. But um but yeah. Um <clears throat> with that, unless any of you guys have anything to talk about, I am out of stuff. That uh that Twitch stage just kind of worries me. Just how far it can be taken. <clears throat> yeah, or even how little it can be taken, depending on how big the streamer is. Mm-hmm. Ah, because yeah, we've yeah. seen We've seen how many times these people push the envelope. I mean, just push it, and then they just go, "Yeah, three day ban, whatever. I don't mm-hmm. care." True. <clears throat> yeah, I, I'm these these YouTube's Twitches like the decisions they make up top. I will just never understand it. <clears throat> it's except you know it brings in money. It's all in the name of being advertiser friendly. <clears throat> but all in the name of it. What? Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it make sense to like offer, let's say, not packages, but like areas of your advertisement? Like this is for everybody. Oh, you're a beer company. You don't need to advertise the in thirteen year olds. This is the eighteen twenty one section of. 
it's it's hard on uh not hard hearts hard, hard, hard advertisement <laughs> <laughs> we're showing dogs y'all it's uh, like we still named stuff. episodes <laughs> hard <laughs> it's like, it's, it's the uh gambling stuff it's the stuff where it goes this is for a mature audience push this button that's where you're advertising to like car mm-hmm. manufacturers and stuff why do mm-hmm. they really need to uh mm-hmm. advertise to a 13 year old unless you know for the future you know it almost like like you can tag um <clears throat> stuff on youtube but there's no real like categories per se yeah so i think it's no <laughs> real Film and animation that doesn't yeah. really mean anything. Yeah, this, yeah, that, that like that's all they can really have to like sort of target, and then like you know keywords where it's like Nintendo. Oh, we can do game stuff here, whatever. <clears throat> um, Twitch is a little bit better because it's like, hey, um, you know, you can. There's more. There's stricter tags. Um, like the like there's the black tag where it's just like streams targeted towards African American audience. Then you can target ads based upon like demographics and stuff and different games and other things like that. <clears throat> um, so I think Twitch is a little bit better equipped for that, but YouTube, not so much, but why not? Like I would, it would make a lot more sense than just go. Every ad needs to be for every person. Like you could centralize and personalize <clears throat> your ads for a specific demographic that you're targeting, targeting. I mean, mm. you can still do the everybody doing everything, but you can get different ads for certain demographics, like yeah, the people that are over eighteen, too much work. Don't want to do it. I, I think that's the end all be all. Probably this is this is working. It's no, it's barely working. It's working though. There's I, I I honestly don't know when a revisited is ad friendly or unfriendly, and it's the same content every time. It's working. <laughs> That's not good enough. That's what YouTube is thinking. Hey, it's hundred million, hundred billion people on average people on YouTube. You know, it's working. Mm-hmm. It's working because there's no other game in town. Daily Motion has somehow stuck around. <laughs> uh, I think Venmo or one of them are strictly just like, hey, pay to watch yeah. this video. Hey. Pay, pay to upload. If you if you get too many clicks, you using up our server space, and you gotta pay. <laughs> so like, if if you want to bring in even better ad dollars and worry less about the advertising, you could do better tools for that thing instead of just going hey everything for everybody unless we say so. But. That's not the YouTube is looking at it like, hey, if somebody wants to do online content, they're gonna come to YouTube. Yeah, because the only game in town. Yeah. So until there's the need to change, why change? Mm-hmm. They're constantly changing anyway. Yeah, they're changing the stuff that they want to change. Like getting NFTs. When I read that, I was <clears throat> like, "What are you doing, lady?" I'm so glad Gabe Newell was just like, "No," <laughs> to it on Steam. Dude, I'm so happy whenever I see one of these game creators, devs, whatever. It's just like, NFTs are a f***ing scam, and we will never have them in our game because they're a f***ing scam. Cowards. Mm-hmm. Cowards. Cowards. <laughs> Put them you in. You see, he was delivering Steam decks to people. Yeah, in the Seattle area. <laughs> yeah, 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 he was just like... You- the funny thing is, is, too, like I feel like he's not so much a recognizable face. I wonder how many... They're like... It's like, here's your Steam Deck. And then he's like, oh, thank you? Why, why the camera? The question, <laughs> the question is, are you a tech bro or are you a gamer Steam connoisseur? Yeah. Are you getting the Steam Deck because it's a piece of tech, so got to have it? Or because <laughs> I love gaming and this looks awesome? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it's just like it's, you either get, you know, the god Gabe, <clears throat> Gaben, um, or it's just like, Okay, this is slightly overweight man just delivered this thing with a camera. Uh, <laughs> uh, who are you? Yeah. <laughs> Am I like the 10,000 Steam Deck? Is there anything else? Nope, just the delivery. Cool. I don't think I would accept it. <laughs> really? If, if Gabe kinda... was just like, I'm here. I, I don't know Gabe. 
<laughs> you would somebody accept- just like, hey, here's this expensive thing. I'd be like, no. No, no, they bought it. He just yeah. delivered oh, it. Oh, okay, okay. I thought it was just, he went to like some construction <laughs> site and just like, steam decks, get them here. <laughs> <laughs> like he just got a cart of steam decks. Yeah. Just As you're walking out of Walmart, he's just like, you want a steam deck? I'm like, absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely <laughs> not. Okay, no. No, he just hand delivered it to people that bought it. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Hey, you! would you like to sample the Steam Deck? <laughs> no, thank you. Don't just know what that in. is. Don't want it. Just has a giant trench coat. It's like, hey, hey, you want some of this? <laughs> just Steam Decks lining the pocket. What are you buying? Yeah. <laughs> Woman goes screaming. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. With that, um, do we have facts, Mr. Fact Man? Uh, just normal facts. Okay. How many? Uh, 75. <clears throat> Ooh, I'll go 75. Number. I'll go uh, 53. You have a 30. Oh, 33. 33, 53, 75. 21, 21 33, 21. 53, 75. 16. 16, 21, <clears throat> 33, uh, 53, 75. Jen, I can't read that. I'll be lying and our channel will get banned. <laughs> 48. Got a 48 as well. Oh no, he found one. 16. <laughs> Gavin, I'm glad you caught it. <laughs> um Barry Manilow did not write his hit 70s song, I Write the Songs. <laughs> <laughs> Instead, it was written by Bruce Johnson, a member of the Beach Boys. <laughs> Boy, he'd be banned off Twitter. That is really funny. <laughs> oh my fucking god. I write the songs. I did not write the song. You know who's get, he's getting banned on Twitch? The vinyl is just like, written by who? What? What a second. Banned on Twitch. Barry! Oh my god. I shoot the shots and then LeBron James has gone through behind you. <laughs> what are you doing? Wow. <laughs> wow. Don't name your show. <laughs> write the song. How hard is that? That is really funny. <clears throat> oh, really dude. I good. would be I would be legitimately offended. I would feel like I got ripped off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, I love this song, and he's sticking it to the haters. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, he is not. All right. Um, I write the songs for legal reasons. He did not write the songs. <laughs> <laughs> I did not write these songs. Freaking arrested development narrator. <laughs> on the he did not write the songs. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. With that, we will be ending this episode. Um, <clears throat> For those that are interested in Smash, as soon as this podcast is over, I am restarting this damn stream and continuing to watch Ultimate Summit. It is still going on. Jesus um, Christ, dude. Take um, a break. Uh, the next couple days <laughs> are my break. Um, so yeah, feel free <clears throat> to watch if you are interested in competitive Smash. Um, Ralph, will we be seeing you next week? No, you will not. Okay. <clears throat> all right, all right. Triton, you're, you're, you're down 2-0 two, two right now, man. <laughs> You are down 2-0, so we shall see. Um, All right, with that, thank you, everybody, for tuning in this episode of the Podcast of Stuff. We will see you next week. Later. Bye-bye.